Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostrzewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam LTAM. Tom, who is age 45, is a member of a career average earnings pension plan. The benefit is a monthly annuity due payable from age 65. You are given the following valuation information. Tom's, pension, uh, Tom's total pensionable earnings since entering the plan are 650000 Tom's salary for the year following the valuation date will be 90000 The accrual rate is 2% per year of service. There are no exits before age 65 other than death. Mortality follows the standard ultimate life table. Contributions are determined using the traditional unit credit funding method. Interest rate is 5%, which is, by the way, the interest rate used in the standard ultimate life table for calculation of actuarial present values. And A double dot 65 upper 12 is equal to 13.0870. Calculate the normal contribution for Tom's retirement benefit. And here's a solution. So under traditional unit credit, it's this year's salary. 2% um, of it that is um, earned for service this year. And it will be paid in the form of life benefit at age 65 um, with a monthly annuity. But this is the annual rate that is accrued. So normal contribution or normal cost, as normal people call it, um, is equal to 0.02 times 90,000, so 2% of the current salary. But because it's paid at age 65, that's 20 years into the future, so we apply the uh, pure endowment factor to calculate its present value, times a double dot 65 upper 12, because this amount will be paid as a monthly uh, retirement benefit, and this is the annual accrual. It will be split into a monthly payments into monthly payments. Okay, 0 0.02 times 90,000 is 1,800. So this is 1,800 times 20 e45 times 13.087. That's given in the problem. And then we find the value of 20 e45 from the table. It's 0.35994. So we plug that in, do the calculation, and we get 8,478.96, and that's answer e. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the uh, Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. And good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.